What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Red Styles in the building. Okay, no. I'm a mess, don't mind me. And don't mind this background either. Oh my lord, Jesus. Your girl needs to do laundry. Let's just say that. Ooh. Man, I had to sneeze. Oh my gee. Oh Lord, Jesus. Anyways, hey YouTube. <laughs> Bruh, I can't. Every time I try to record myself, I go through this moment where I literally don't know how to start the video. So, this is me starting the video. <laughs> Anywho, so guys, you know, I feel like I've been neglecting you guys because I definitely only been uploading videos like once or twice, you know, every month. And I really want to be consistent and be on here as much as possible and like be able to, for you, I really want you guys to get to know me as a person. Like, you know, you guys only see me in these skits and don't get a chance to really see Alexis, you know? So I thought it'd be cool to start doing like story times um, when I'm not doing skits and just kind of do like random cool videos, you know, just kind of keeping you guys engaged with me because you guys are my heart. <laughs> no, for real though, I really appreciate everybody that's been supporting me and like subscribing and, you know, following me since day one, like amazing, thank you. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all don't understand how much I appreciate y'all. Um, first off, I just, a couple announcements. <laughs> um, so I know um, a lot of you may follow me on Instagram, um, even on all social medias, I pretty much talked about it, but I just dropped my um, boutique, my online boutique. And, you know, it's very exciting. It's a slow start, but it's very exciting and, you know, as a black woman, especially a young black woman, I'm trying to create generational wealth for my my future family, my kids, and you know, be able to quit my nine to five. So this was a big stepping stone for myself. And um, I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. I'm definitely gonna put um, my boutique uh, website at the bottom in the description and like my Instagram and everything for my boutique and you guys check it out support like it would mean a hundred percent like so much to me because right now you know things it's really stressful like you know to be honest I haven't seen you know it j I just launched it but like you know it's starting off slow so i'm trying to keep my motivation up and just remember that nothing happens overnight but i'm praying and hoping and wishing that you know people see my grind and support it you know so anywho i am wearing one of my rs sweatshirts right now oh jesus um the rs is rhinestones in my tie-dye um, this is just one of them. This is like an extra, extra large. I love my oversized stuff. So that's what I have this one. Um, but yeah, I have a whole bunch of different colors. And then I have my boutique stuff, which is, you know, more like regular everyday wear or like going out. You know, I have a couple things for guys, some things for girls, um, you know, and I, I'm planning on doing some true, true um, collections very soon. So just stay tuned for it guys. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Um, anyways, so today I decided that I wanted to talk about my worst date I've ever been on. Lord Jesus, bruh. <laughs> Cause y'all don't understand. Okay, so if y'all been following me, the day ones, the day unos, if y'all been following me and subscribed to me and have watched, um, I forgot my wallet, that's it. So that is a true story. A lot of people were like under my comments asking me and uh, please forgive me guys, I'm so terrible about responding to people's comments. I'm the absolute worst. And that might be my next task, honestly, this week. I will go through every single comment and like and love and comment back because it's not it's not that I'm like 
ignore y'all and you feel like I read everything, but like, it's just so much and I'm like trying to keep up with everybody, but definitely it's, that's a big um, thing that I'm gonna do next is to make sure that I respond to everybody. Anyways, so my worst date I've ever been on, that's actually not, that's my, my worst date, I don't know, but that was one of my dates I've been on and it was terrible. So I'm just gonna, story time, I'm just gonna tell you guys about it. So probably like, I wanna say five years ago, that was like five years ago, wow y'all, five years ago. Um, I, I was working, I was working at Jump Juice, matter of fact, and this guy was working like Aldo, and he was working around the corner from me, and he would like come up and like talk to me casually and you know he kind of like gave me friend cool like trying to be cool with me vibes and i didn't know but i thought he was cute so i was like okay but he kind of like basically told me like oh you should go get something to eat or whatever and i was like okay sounds great so you know the day rolls around and it rolls into nighttime and i get a text message from him and he basically asked me to come pick him up me being the nice person I am, I was like, okay. So I go to pick him up and he's like at his friend's house or something. I don't know, friend. At his friend's house and um, I pick him up, he gets in my car and y'all, he was so high. Nothing against people that smoke, but like, you're going on a date, bro. Like, or I thought it was a date. I don't know why I thought it was. But you're hanging out with somebody you've never hung out with before. And like, I can I can barely have a conversation with you because you're just that high. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. So yeah, so he like got in the car and we're like talking and, you know, we're talking a little bit to the restaurant. The restaurant was kind of far actually. And I can't remember why. I think it's because I didn't take the freeway or I was trying to wait for you. I can't remember. But we make it to the restaurant y'all we get i park <laughs> still being the nice person i am i'm really wow like we're gonna be too nice because we get to the park lot and we like about to go in and he like fumbling through his backpack and he's like oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm like what's wrong and he was like i forgot my wallet he was like, I mean, I could pay you back. And I was like, okay, all right, sounds good. And we went in and ate and he never paid me back. And I took him, I actually took him back to his friend's house where he forgot his, forgot his wallet. He said not pay me back, y'all. He didn't pay me back, you know? And what's crazy is that I seen him like a couple months later and he still hadn't mentioned anything about paying me back. You know, I just think he wanted a free meal. I don't know what he thought. I don't know what he wanted. Well, I know what he wanted, but yeah, no. <laughs> you girl got played super hard now it wasn't as bad as jay horror and that whole skit but like that did happen to me and i think it's funny that a lot of y'all guessed that that happened to me and it really did happen to me stress y'all stress but i don't know if that's my worst date or not i really don't i feel like i don't know now i gotta think about our worst date i've ever been on i've had really bad luck not bad luck i've had bad times with my love life like y'all before i met my handsome man i'm dating now um i had the worst luck with love i really did like anybody out here watching my videos thinking that you know i don't know what i was gonna say right there. i really don't know what i was gonna say but you know for people that are dating right now and they feel like they're always dealing with the same same old same old and they feel like they're never gonna find somebody are gonna find somebody don't give up i know there may be a lot of trifling people because i've dealt with a lot of them a lot 
a lot yeah a lot uh, yeah dang y'all now i gotta think about more situations because your girl's been through some stuff like relationship wise i don't know anyways that's my story <laughs> No, but I really just coming out here to talk to y'all. Like, I just wanted to, like, drop a video and talk to y'all and just be myself right now. And this is that video. But I really want to start implementing, like, story times with you guys, like, every week or something. And just talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. Like, relationships, um, money tips, business tips. I don't know. Anything. Like, I just want to talk to y'all and, you know, have those videos to drop and just to be myself and you guys get to see me outside of the whole acting and whatever and just be myself because this is me <laughs> um but yeah but yeah y'all so this is red signing out i don't even know what time i think it's like 10 o'clock right now yo i had the longest day at work and i still was like i gotta hop on today and do a video because it's been a minute and i can't afford to just not be present for you guys you know it's been it's been terrible so anyways um i love y'all and please like comment subscribe please comment some things for me to talk about next week because I just want to keep coming with topics. I just want to keep coming and talking to y'all and me and myself and whatever y'all want to talk about. Let's talk about it. Sex, relationships, business, I don't know, head wraps, my boutique. Don't forget because I'm putting it in the description. Okay, y'all, this is really me. This is, this is me. So I hope y'all love it. <laughs> Anyways, love y'all. I'm really signing out now. I'm gonna go to sleep in that bed back there because I'm tired and I had the longest day at work. So, <laughs> anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all. I'm serious. Show this to your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your aunt, your cousin. Share this to Facebook. Share it to Instagram. Do all that. Follow me on Instagram. Red Styles. R E D D Styles with a Z. Love y'all. Stay safe out in this Corona times, okay? Please. I love y'all too much for y'all to be getting sick. Wear your mask. <laughs> love y'all. Bye. Go ahead and subscribe to your girl.